Welcome to another episode of the Pat Down, and we fucking crazy. We got Quisha in the house. We selling pussy. We got Chris with Velocity. We <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Did you, <laughs> you make me right do a spit this? take twice now? <laughs> Y'all got to listen to the episode and see why I think he got leftover dick in his throat. Listen to the episode. <laughs> this is one of the- <laughs> not gonna, that's not going to be on the episode at all. <laughs> Literally didn't talk about that yeah, at this all. This shit's funny. You didn't have any water. Yeah, she has water now. <sighs> yeah, she called me as I was pulling in. Can you get some water? I'm like, I could have. You called me 20 minutes ago. I got stuck in traffic on my way here. I was going to be 15 minutes late. She calls me at 110. Can you get some water? Yeah, I haven't eaten, so I'll get some M- peanut M&Ms. But none of that what she, Dasani water. I want a case of Evian or smart water. <laughs> so... Make sure your mic's on. So I go three fucking places, <laughs> and I'm like, finally, I'm like, she's getting Nestle, and I'll get her two bottles of Evian. So there was no cases of, and I'm. Well, meanwhile, everybody else is sitting here waiting. Yeah, she'd have got that gas station joint that have been sitting outside all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that should have done that at the speedway. Like, Yo. That shit is horrible. The sun them beating it down on that plastic. I don't know who buy that water. They'd be sitting out I there all day. I don't know who buy that shit. These people <laughs> don't drink like that water. looking like a crackhead. <laughs> I need to Venmo. I'm going to Venmo you. How much do you want to tip? No, I don't know. Don't Venmo me, motherfucker. I don't got no Venmo. I am not buying you water. I'll cash app you. No, don't cash app me, motherfucker. How much do you want to tip? It's just like white people give you something and take it back and then tell you you're poor. This is not a gift. It was if a you, gift. If you, you stopped and got it. I'm not DoorDash. This is not Grubhub. Today, nigga. If I was you, I was I would reclaim that water. <laughs> if <laughs> well, if it's not a gift, mouth, it's mine. I already drunk some. <laughs> open your mouth. You want it. this water gonna come out in color? Twenty five dollars. It is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want Grubhub? You get Grubhub prices. I would like to thank the lady who came out to the San Antonio show. Come on, Quisha, and brought the lovely panty oh lines. <laughs> What's up, Quisha? Hey, hey. <laughs> uh, I would like to thank the lady who brought the lovely panty liners. I've never had to always to go all the way in the back of my ass, but they was wonderful. One problem I was having. At the you get pa- the short panty liners? <laughs> <laughs> I got a long ass. <laughs> you have nobody grub up those for you? <laughs> no, nah, she came into the shop and I was like, Girl, why are you walking like that? She's sticking her like I got on two goddamn panty lines. These motherfuckers all the way on my back. <laughs> and they got they kept sticking in the crack of my ass hair. And then when I pull them, they were pulling my ass away. <laughs> I said, Who? I don't need these good panty lines. I don't need two of these. Cause you know them cheap ones. You line them up in your draw like a choo choo train. It'd be like three, four of them. Like those plastic runners on a shitty carpet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't understand. <laughs> well, yeah, that's how it be. <laughs> That's how it, it be like three, four panty liners. Because I'm fat, and by the time I squeeze my thighs together, I just destroy the panty liner. I had a motherfucker in a chokehold. <laughs> but not these. These motherfuckers, I put two of them bitches down, they grabbed my asshole hair, and I got out and walked across. Whoa, this motherfucker got my hair back there. So I'm digging in my ass trying to get my hair out the, out the liner sticker. They should <laughs> hire you at Pampers to be like a panty liner tester. <laughs> no penny. Our penny liner can even stand up to Miss Pat's <laughs> ass hair. Or we just fix her leaky vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Your shit leaked too. No, it don't. Not that type my of shit leak. was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> not, not like a Katrina down no. there. <laughs> I laugh Katrina. and I piss. You don't laugh and piss. No, nah, boo boo. She be lying about her pussy. She swear she got the bad pussy that fuck. She she Period. thinks she got some that um that uh. Period. What what is that? that what's that motherfucking name? Um, that sunshine pussy. Remember I that? do sunshine no, Harlem nights. Yeah, boo. Harlem nights. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never coming home. I ain't coming home no more. <laughs> Put your mother on the phone. <laughs> Period. I got that pussy too. Whoo! And it rains. <laughs> <laughs> Something wrong with her. I got that rain shower pussy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
That does not sound like WAP to me. It's <laughs> the worst summer. Wop. That's the worst summer Z Wop. flavor too. No, oh really. hell no! Rain oh, shower, the worst flavor of summer summer's Eve. Rain shower pussy. Oh ah, uh, you know. God. He you said eating flavor pussy? like he be eating this shit. <laughs> you eating you this pussy? pussy? I don't think you, that's chemical. I hate these braces. You hate? Yeah, you you got braces. I do. Unless you got dick lip. <laughs> I already had some DSLs. Now they do you have a the palate expander where they put the key in and turn it? Oh no, I just need to fix the gap on the side. I pulled my wisdom teeth. Whoa, whoa. Nigga, what kind of what kind of holes you been fucking when they crank the mouth up? I had the worst teeth imaginable. I had braces from third grade to eighth grade. Oh yeah, no. Damn, I got six nigga. months. Who was you? Who was your daddy and mama? Animals? <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Have you ever seen the picture of me when I was a kid? My teeth? No, I saw your picture at your house. Oh my god, y'all look like you know who they look like. Remember when we did that episode on a man who was fucking the next door neighbor daughter who ran off with him? Oh, you talking about yeah, that little special we watched. So what is the special we watch? He was yeah. like, uh, he the, took the door oh, uh, uh, ducked yeah. it in plain sight. Yeah, or whatever. <laughs> plain sight. that's what his family looked like. The family next door. That was like the third or fourth episode. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? Law? Who was B? He? B. B. <laughs> his dad looked like B back there in the pitch. Oh, yeah, he's cute. It's on my Instagram. No, I look like Alfred E. New. He was cute. Look at that. Curl by. You could park a. You could park like an SUV. I still think he was cute though. Thank you. You wasn't that bad. You actually look racist on that picture. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first school picture I got after my braces, and I didn't want to show my mouth, so I just like I didn't, I didn't want to show. I was embarrassed. Chris, let me see that picture. Yeah. Chris, you have yeah, always know. looked like a lesbian <laughs> for, from the first day. From the first day, that looked like a fat girl with the wrong haircut. <laughs> it does. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you do. You have right. always looked like a lesbian. He looked like uh, Buzz from Home Alone. You sure you sure you're not trapped? You know, I look like uh, the bitch asked, "Are you trapped?" Are you kidding? Me? The disrespect from this woman. Yeah, I was up to not. The not only was I 45 minutes late today, I was 30 minutes late to an appointment yesterday because she goes, "Hey, I'm outside. I need you to convert this video." And then, she, so she always has Ramon come up and knock on the door, and then because I want your shitty ass cat smelling my ass. Yesterday. <laughs> All of the crack babies came with her, and they walk in, and they all Don't go. Don't call my motherfucking baby no crack baby. That's what That's you, call, what you them. call them. They got names now. They've been adopted. Always had names. <laughs> 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 uh, well, I, I don't remember. Which of the kids walked in and goes, This place is small. I was like <laughs> I was like, you know what? I don't have time for this. I didn't say any of this, of course. Did they say that? Uh, the, uh yeah. Oh yeah. That your house is small. Yeah. God and then damn, immediately wait, wait. took over the TV. So then they took over, started watching some YouTuber that he just screams the whole time. The first time they were she she came over and I was like, I had cleaned furiously because I know whatever she sees is going to be on the podcast. So I, I like, I'm glad you didn't go in my room, open any doors, go into any of the closets. Cause it was like, I had 20 minutes to panic clean to miss Pat proof it before I heard about it on the pat down. She, st- so she found the only family photo goes on the wall. Look at these. And these ugly ass cat. <laughs> and the ugly- cat. Fucking cat on a table, on a stove. This nigga got his pussy. What a grit supposed to cook at. I'm like, you're nasty. Who you know, good and hell well, Chris, don't cook no grits. <laughs> I hate grits. You hate grits? What? Yeah. Don't tell me you're a cream of wheat nigga. Listen, listen to her. Don't, don't tell, tell me you're a cream <laughs> of wheat nigga. Tell me he ain't a cream of wheat nigga. <laughs> don't tell me you're not a cream of wheat nigga. What does that mean? You eat cream of wheat? No. Ugh. Oatmeal. No. Oh, you a nigga? Oatmeal, yeah. Oatmeal. Oh, yeah. you a nigga? Yeah. <laughs> on the advice of my attorney i'm not supposed to answer this so listen listen to her that she walks into my house and starts yelling at my cat <laughs> get your ass out of here oh this motherfucker ain't stay. <laughs> and that cat oh, got nigga. the biggest booty hole <laughs> i think somebody been sticking their finger in that cat look at that cat booty hole that motherfucker booty hole ain't no ain't no you know how most booty holes have an entry point where they look like they tight it just be open and you look it's clean gone, up in Dion, it's gone from i had a moderate dick to a tiny dick to basically it's an any to now a trap 
uh, what did you call me? <laughs> and now, now I'm fucking my cat. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> he didn't say it, but he was implied. You're right. I should stand up for yeah. myself because we're no, no, implied. No, I, didn't say, <laughs> I didn't say you was fucking your cat. I noticed that the booty hole on the cat has been dealt with. <laughs> but, <laughs> the booty has implied. been dealt with. <laughs> to be fair hole. to you, Chris, she she does know about people playing in people's booty holes. <laughs> 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 You're right. She has but, a history. <laughs> yeah, it was just, it was funny. This is the first and last time my cat has ever been called the N-word. <laughs> and somebody's raping your cat. You need to get him into counseling. <laughs> his, his asshole is screaming, I've been open. <laughs> ne- next thing you know, it's going to be living next to Dion with a little rope around it being walked. <laughs> Uh-oh. That fucking asshole was outside yesterday. Yeah. Cat just sitting at the end of the driveway. I fucking hate that guy and his cat. <laughs> it's just so weird. So, Quisha is here because we're going to announce the winner of the um, yeah, the you, big areola contest. Yeah. <laughs> how many? How many people? How many people hit you up? I don't. It was a lot, <laughs> over a hundred, <laughs> well over a hundred. And they said and they was what? all about. Well, the first few of them got cussed the fuck out. To, to I'm mind. sorry. The first few people got cussed out. I'm sorry, but I ain't nobody gonna just call me no black bitch. I need <laughs> I'm like, you need what? Who the fuck is this? Why are you inboxing me? But the people who follow directions, so I had to be. It was so many. She, so I was no, like, she called me. She said, "Why everybody in the pet now called me a black bitch and I need my areola?" <laughs> so I said, "Oh, that episode came out today. I forgot. They want you to get them free tickets." <laughs> yeah, I'm like, did you even tell me what's going on? Like, y'all know how bad I was about to cuss these people out, or how bad I did. <laughs> I said, "Pet don't care about y'all." So. And or I've already well, I, everybody should know you have to be in Atlanta because we're not flying nobody out. And what were the tickets for? Remind me. The tickets are for Miss Pat's Netflix comedy special that she's shooting in Atlanta at the City Winery okay. on August twenty first. So there are a few tickets still left. So you better hurry up and jump on there and get them because they're first show is sold. First out. show is definitely sold what, out. What keyword should they use? They already used it. Oh no! Don't don't inbox me calling me no black <laughs> bitch with over. large areolas. None that was that the keyword. That that was the keyword. So if you didn't use those exact words, you're not gonna be. Um, your name is not gonna be called. Okay. So we so. got two. How many winners we got? We have two winners. Which is each, each one to get two sets of tickets. How do we decide the winners? You decide uh, the winners. Yes, yeah, I should. decided the winners. I just put their names in and drawing the ones who um actually followed the directions. Yeah. So one of the, this guy was hilarious because he was like, you black bitch with large areolas. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> and he just laughing at that shit. <laughs> and I inboxed him, who the fuck you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> so it's Carlos Parker. Carlos Parker. <laughs> okay. And then there was a girl. She didn't say shit. She was like, black bitch i need it with her with the hand she didn't say miss pat said none of that right, shit the yeah. ones who was cute that was trying to tell me well miss pat said to say this sorry i would never follow directions to, never say this to anyone <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what they were saying what is her name april P- prentice yeah april prentice april, april prentice. prentice and we're gonna post it inside so of, you, you guys get that. to do a meet and greet with miss pat you must be in atlanta if you do not contact me today um this drops tuesday this is tuesday so drop Contact me today, or I'm no, going to drop their name. Else. No, no, we're going to drop their names in the, in the pet now. Yeah, we're going to drop it in the pet now. No, 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 no. We're going to drop it in the, uh, the, the group. The crack in the group. Baby. In the crack, oh, baby. No, okay. They know they you know you won. All right, but you, you have you to contact us. And you you got to be in Atlanta. Two tickets. Meet and greet with Miss Pat, and you get to watch the show. Uh, really you also have to greet. bring her water. So. And Panerline is not the long wings. <laughs> I don't like the wings because they stick to my side. Thigh. And some Olive Garden, Garden, uh, Garden. You know, you know Olive how Garden I, wine. You know how I knew that Miss Pat showed up to my apartment because Raymond knocked on the door. <laughs> Raymond, <laughs> don't knock on that door. <laughs> Oh, yeah. He, he said, Raymond, <laughs> die for me. <laughs> I ain't ready to die yet. I got a show tomorrow. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> well, Juma. She was walking girl. down here today. Raymond. <laughs> she was just fucking with him. She didn't want nothing. 
<laughs> that said, poor kid. Yes, I said, I just want to call you name. <laughs> Ray Mo. <Mom! laughs> he's he's the nicest kid. Oh. With a knife. <laughs> no. <laughs> when somebody put in a pet down, what's how you said? Ray Mo said, Not today, Shai. <laughs> <laughs> she she said she had thought she had forgotten her phone charger in my apartment. And I was like, Ramon, she didn't. He goes, Well, she said she did. And I go, I'll go out and talk to her for you so you don't get in trouble. <laughs> and he goes, thank you. <laughs> I was like, that bitch ass nigga ain't keeping my motherfucking charge. They cost too much. <laughs> yeah. So I guess we'll talk about my trip to Disney. After this break. We got a break, Nick? We, yeah, we got, yeah. We got all kinds I of hate breaks. breaks. I know. Much breaks. We got to take breaks. All right, after this break. All right, back from the break. So y'all know I just took my family and a bunch of friends. It was about 26 of us to Disney, which we're going again next year. We're going to invade Disney with Blackness, the resort. I think I'm going to pitch that to as a TV show. Miss Pat, bring color to the resort. Because there's no color on the resort. Really? Yeah. So we, 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 go, we stay at the Contemporary, which was really nice, which they pissed me off. So that's why I made that post. They pissed me off. They fucking customer service. They made me fucking mad. I'm a terrible friend because when I saw that post, I went, yes. <laughs> this is going to be a great episode. Fuck you. So we arrive. We, they arrive on the Mickey bus because the Mickey bus picked you up. And I was like, yeah, got to experience the Mickey bus. So that's my first mistake. They pissed me off at the Mickey bus because they didn't put my family on no Mickey bus. They put them niggas on the regular charter bus because it was so many people going in and Disney. So Disney had to rent charter bus to get everybody to the resort. So they didn't get to be on the bus with the Mickey Mouse upside the walls and shit. So that's my <laughs> first. <laughs> they couldn't just, you know, print some out and tape them on the walls. For <laughs> no, the it's real- a Mickey bus. It's all co- covered in characters. It's really cute. It's nothing special. They only- have one no they got a bunch of them but it was so many people in 4th of july going to the park so then they brought in all of these charter buses to charter everybody to the resort because as you get on free so my fr- so i get there and we walk on we my my family pull up I'm, I'm there before them and everybody get out the mickey bus we walk in and immediately we get noticed because we're black and we all got on our disney shirt and the white people's like what the fuck is going on around here it wasn't so, the yelling <laughs> that too, probably. Hey, Bo! <laughs> hey, we on the Mickey bus. <laughs> Clip my toenails. <laughs> so we walk in the resort, and the first thing they said was, "Are you guys a reunion?" I'm like, "Nigga, no!" And then you we, also had matching shirts. Talk about the shirts. We had matching shirts, which is these shirts, because I do shirts for every everything. And they was like, "Are you guys a reunion?" No white people. Are you and them four white babies a reunion? We on fucking vacation, nigga. Leave us the fuck alone. We kept asking, getting asked when we was a fucking reunion. It's because of the shirts. The shirt? <laughs> they had shirts. You do too, something nigga. that draws attention and then get mad that you're getting attention. No, but well, everybody have shirts at Disney. Oh, no. well, I have an airport shirt. This was our airport shirt. <laughs> so, <laughs> Two shirts. No, we had four shirts. Fuck you. <laughs> we had a Mickey bus shirt. <laughs> we had an <laughs> airport shirt. A leave in the airport A shirt. A leave in the airport shirt. We have a <laughs> shirt for everything. So we get there, and the resort is really fucking nice. But when we get there, I mean, Disney property costs a lot of money for a week. The fucking TV was broke. My TV was broke. So I'm like, how the fuck you break my TV? So the lady who, uh, how the fuck you not notice the TV is broke? Make a long story short, she sent up a charcuterie board. A charcuterie board. I don't even know how to say yeah. that, to be honest with the you. The one with all the meat board. on you and the right. cheese. Oh, yeah. What is it called? Right. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. Yeah. Charcuterie board. And the motherfucker got white people hair in it. I'm like, what <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> now, how did you racially profile this hair? Gary Allen told me. So I <laughs> well, <laughs> we'll go to our racist expert <laughs> on the scene. <laughs> Gary Allen reporting live. Now, wait to their defense. You could have had some white people hair in your head too, cause ain't no telling what I put in that wig. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we it was brand new. We opened it. It was a long piece of two strings of blonde hair laying over in the cheese and cracker and i'm like oh hell to the motherfucking nah y'all put white bitch hair real white bitch hair. this ain't real white bitch hair. this indian you put <laughs> <laughs> you put real white bitch hair on my cheese and cracker nigga i don't eat white people hair what, is, so, <laughs> what hair do you eat no hair okay all right hair. public hair <laughs> public hair right yeah pubic that's pubic i said public. Oh, i don't eat no public hair i don't my husband shaving nuts. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Manscaped. <laughs> <laughs> so 
I call her and I say, well, they put white people hair in my motherfucking cheesy cracker. She's like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I said, no, I'm calling the motherfucking man. So I call the manager. I meet him downstairs. And he was like, what happened? I said, you got white people hair over in my motherfucking cheesy cracker. He said, okay. Not let Correct me t- response, sir. <laughs> no, let me hook head. you up. <clears throat> let me- I am. And he never asked me my name. I said, oh, hell no, Disney. I'm pissed the fuck off now. So then I go and I go. My husband's like, I'm missing my drawers. I said, what you mean you're missing your drawers? Come to find out the, the Mickey bus man left my fucking two suitcases at the goddamn airport. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, my motherfucking red bottom slippers is in there. They're going to steal my motherfucking shoes. <laughs> so I run back to the airport, and the man said, well, we found these bags on the curb. I was like, what? Wow. What? So I called him, and I said, hold on, bitch. Y'all let my motherfucking shit on now. My, and I, well, my shoes was over $1,000, my slipper. Yeah. And, and you don't, like, your one vice, as you talk about, is bags. Were these, like, really nice suitcases? Too? Yeah, you let my motherfucking yeah. new Disney bags. They're my new Disney bags. So I tell the man, he said, well, what did it cost you to get back to the airport? Nigga, I got to rent a car. He said, well, $50 do you good? I said, really, motherfucker? And I hung up the phone on him. You didn't take the $50 or negotiate up to $75? Man, fuck them niggas. I was pissed off by that. Do you have their phone number? Let me call them. I need to be reimbursed for all this water. We didn't even go to Epcot. (laughs) We didn't even go to Epcot. But when we went to fucking, we went to Disney and it rained us out of Epcot, which we had 18 tickets to Epcot. They ran you out? No, it rained out. Oh, okay. And it was park hoppers, right? So I spent a lot of money on those tickets, but we didn't go. So we ended up, Universal was the next day, and that was the best shit ever. We bought the VIP passes. Oh, my God. I got to get caught on the phone. The VIP pass was, first of all, you get breakfast, and it's laid out. And it's in, the, like, the house Marilyn Monroe fuck Kennedy in, right? And it's roped all around and it say VIP. And so we walk in there, 18 of us, 18 niggas. And this is at Disney, right? This is at Universal. Universal, okay. Walk in there, ain't number white people. And I love to invade white people's space where they be like, what the fuck these niggas do? Are they, are they, are they ball players? But ended up being a ball player <laughs> in there. It was another black family. He was a ball player. He was he used to play for the coach. Daddy is young. Daddy is young. His family was there getting a hey. tour too. It was the best shit up because your breakfast is laid out, all carved meat, then you come back for lunch and then you pick dinner anywhere. But the ride the rise was, I was a little embarrassed with the rise because they bring you through all of these back doors that did when you VIP these secret doors you, nobody really see you until you just pop up and everybody like who the fuck are these people are they famous are they ball player are they football player and then Cortland was like don't look them in the eye don't look them in the eye don't look them in the eye <laughs> And then I could see the Game people of trying Thrones? To, I could see the people trying to figure out who the fuck is these 18 niggas that's jumping all of these lines I got I got noticed like two or three times in the park, maybe three times at the most in the park. But other than that, we just jumped the line. It was fuck. It was so fucking good. So Universal kind of saved it for Disney because I got rained out. I, told you. I wanted Universal's to see Universal's better than Disney. Well, Disney got better properties. Mm, oh, there's no doubt about Disney that. Disney got better properties. And when you got smaller kids, you got to go where the kids can get on the ride. Mm. You couldn't put, you put, I put Saisha on the ride. She was throwing up every motherfucking world. Key Arrow was throwing up. Cortland kept riding the Harry Potter ride. Everybody coming off that <laughs> motherfucker throwing up him. And people cross sided. Juma was like, Mama, you need to tell him to sit down somewhere. I'm dizzy. <laughs> Juma was dizzy. Everybody was sick except Cortland. And his wife. What is the Harry Potter ride? What, and why it was on like- that motorbike that he be riding in the uh-huh. air. And they cut off all the light. He said they just drop you in the flow. And then they take you back. Woo, like 100 miles. Then they take you for Woo. And I was like, you think I'm going to get on there? <laughs> Nigga, it's a bitch at the little pole park down here in Indiana. You heard about that? Who her, her heart ripped on a Velocity ride. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a, a dinosaur philosopher. <laughs> <laughs> Velocity ride. Don't that mean fast? Oh, Velocity. <laughs> Velocity. <laughs> The Velociraptor, you know. <laughs> fuck you, Chris. <laughs> Nigga, you know the fuck I'm trying to say. <laughs> I do now. Hey, her heart ripped for <laughs> real? Took three or four yeah, questions, but we got it. Right here in a little amusement park that these niggas just be putting up by themselves here in Indiana. She was 47 years old. She got on the ride, and the Velociraptor ride split her heart. Nigga, I ain't getting on that shit. <laughs> I'm guessing it wasn't the ride. It was probably the Wendy's the every day for 30 years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened. I just know I don't fuck with Nessie Velocity. Okay, I stay my motherfucking ass on the ground. Her death certificate said philosophy, right? <laughs> <laughs> the philosophy. What's ride. the cause of death, coroner? 
Velocity. <laughs> Why you pronounce it? Velocity. Well, that shit killed that lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I ain't in that kind of shape, nigga. I used to eat Popeye. You can't be eating no Popeye, you know, no motherfucking Velocity rides. And so, that, I keep seeing the light fleet. I, Did you pay your bill? <laughs> that's a good fucking question. Yeah, they remind me of that's childhood. A- <laughs> Something like oh, nigga, go, to Disney for, go to Disney for a week. Ah, we can pay the light bill so next month. So we're going back. So we're going Shuffle back. Shuffle this around. I see why you bought the water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck you, Dion. <laughs> so we're going back 60 deep next year. About 60 people deep. You going right, going, Chris? Yeah, we're going. Yeah, well, Chris is going and joined the black people on Disney. We stand on the resort. And y'all going too, right? It ain't but two of y'all. Y'all can afford this shit. It ain't but two of y'all. Ain't no baby bring the camera. Maybe we get cameras where we get them some discount. We're going to Disney and we bring a couple of hoes with us. Quisha got some whole friends that are coming with the thongs in the ass. And I don't t- do not Quisha. I'm gonna wear mine too. Don't you don't you wear that shit yes, on no I Disney am. property and scare them white folks. A sling shot. Don't you wear no motherfucking slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> a whale tail. I My catch. kids gonna be there too. Don't wear the <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're used to. <laughs> they, they gonna, gonna, they gonna, gonna be like the niggas at me. the pool. We ain't going down there. <laughs> <laughs> I went down the water slide with my friend Karma and that bitch. Oh. She went down that girl. You fucking went down a water slide? Yes, because she talked me into it. What'd you that do mo- with your wig? I no, let me Karma. tell you. She went down that motherfucker. Her whole wig fell off. <laughs> <laughs> her wig went to that side of the pool. All the white people turned around. And I hate to see Octopus. <laughs> It was so funny. They had like they didn't see her wig, and this bitch got corn rolls, and she's trying to swim over there to get her wig. Her husband just walked out the pool. <laughs> she didn't tell me. <laughs> so I go down, and she's like, "Go and go down and go down." And I say, "I really don't want to do no water slide because this ain't what I do." I said, "Okay, I'm gonna go down." Man, I went down that motherfucker. That bitch was so fast. I had my glasses on and my wig. I'm holding my wig. <laughs> Nigga, nobody told me when you go in the water slide, it slides you directly up under the water. water. <laughs> Nigga, I'm. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you better be glad that wig didn't come off. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, I was like, "Damn, oh, uh, uh, I got off." Is the my glue that? Was, uh, let me ask. Is the glue that strong that it'll stay on? My, yeah. Mine wasn't glued down. But I sold that bitch good though. Oh, <laughs> but I had I had a Disney hat on, so I was holding my wig so it wouldn't fall out. But my glass was all upside down, and I'm up under the water. I was like, oh, I couldn't get my foot. And I was like, bitch, I knew I shouldn't have listened to you. What my old ass going in that goddamn water slide? And I don't know if I had, felt like I had grease on my booty because I was just, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> I can't stop. It was already slippery. She, slippery. she ain't had that panty line on. <laughs> I had that panty line on. I think your ass hair would have gripped you onto something. panty liners in bathing suits. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I wear panty line anyway. My pussy get cold. But, um... Uh, <laughs> you got a coat pussy? Cold pussy, cold. Oh, I thought you had a little <clears throat> coat for it. <laughs> Sometimes my pussy died and I had to heat it back up. So... <laughs> it dies out. <laughs> What is it, dinosaurs? Well, you got to get down the Huh? Your husband got to do the Heimlich. Ain't nobody got to do the Heimlich. Ain't that when a nigga choking and you get behind him and squeeze him? Mm-hmm. You just got to suck it back out. He got to suck it back out. But the Heimlich is when somebody you choking from food. Yeah, your to pussy choking for some air. Oh, you got to bring thing. it back to life. That's the thing that pops on a bike when you're 14. Resuscitated, then. He needed well, to well, Did you say <laughs> pops on a bike? Yeah. The Heimlich? The fuck are you talking about? Oh, Hyman. About? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You I was just going to ignore it. Like girl, you in that thing, you pop down. It, it wasn't a bike in your case at 14. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about the damn thing to go up your pussy. And, and what go in your pussy on a bicycle? You don't know what a Hyman is? Your Hyman. But it, I ain't lost down on no bike, nigga. Bike no, rape people. You lost your a dick. <laughs> a well, who the dick. fuck are your fucking bicycles? Bus. What? What? <laughs> what is happening? She missed the joke. <laughs> People fuck I love, I love that I made a dumb joke on purpose <laughs> and that she genuinely confused. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, it's the little <sighs> girls have the th- skin in the vagina. Hymen. Yeah, hymen. And then you most- can tell if they're fucking if it's not there anymore. Yeah. If it's broken. I don't know nobody. Thing that pops for most. You don't remember. I ain't never had no one. skin and no pussy. 
<laughs> that ain't right. <laughs> I ain't had no skin in my pussy. Hey, you ain't gonna tell Only me. Only on this show can you go from Disney to hymen. <laughs> <laughs> so I was on this water slide <laughs> right into my hymen. And <laughs> yeah, I just went up under the water and I couldn't get my foot. I was like, oh, I can't swim, I can't swim. And the pool wasn't that deep. But you know how when you feel like you're up on the water, I just couldn't stand up for some reason. When I finally stood up, I was like, bitch, this is why I don't do this shit. And I ran up out of that motherfucker. So we run up out of there. Who is that? What you want? charger get 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 out of here <laughs> <laughs> get your charger and get the fuck out of here you're interrupting my goddamn thing letting people see they might want to come over here and kidnap me shit get the fuck up out of here they kidnap girls all the time you know, would kidnap sex. a little girl no she said an annoying little girl <laughs> you've raised them right though who would kidnap an annoying little girl? <laughs> I know. I hate how they talk. Kept them don't off. Don't got enough. no hood in them. Don't got no hood. Be the first one jumping in well, the white van. Ramon tried. You made me edit the video, and I had to take it down. Yeah, you literally beat the hood out of these niggas. Right. He goes. Now you mad? They don't have. You go. Them. And that's Ramon in the background. He goes. Uh, what do you say? Uh, what? What it? It was like what it do or what what it good or something along that. Like I I don't remember what he said. You turn around. He goes. You go to a white. Stop it! <laughs> I have it on tape if you want to see. <laughs> the, the hood being beaten out of the boy. Oh, that wasn't no, what do you do? Ain't no fucking hood. You well, know. You sure you yelled at him. Yeah, he said, what it do? They got that shit from Junebug trying to be. He, Ramon ain't tough. I don't even think Ramon can fight. Probably. Well, I don't know. I'm fighting with Amir. You did? <laughs> we have some training videos from comedy clubs. We could oh, show Amir, Amir probably. <laughs> What you say? <laughs> he said we've got some training videos from comedy clubs that we can show. <laughs> with you. Oh yeah, I, I I used to can fight. I can't fight anymore. Back in the day, I, I I'm saved now. You know that's <laughs> that is a whole. I fucking almost lie. spit this water on you. <laughs> I will fight if you fuck with me. No, we're not. Or we're, anybody. We're else. not doubting that part. We're the save part is what got us. By save, she you meant got I've saved, got I've got like Disney yesterday? money. <laughs> I got to say day four yesterday. Yeah, I gonna say I was going to say it because she just tried what, to beat a crackhead in my shop. What? Oh, have you been to Quisha's shop? We need to take a break and then we'll finish that story. <laughs> I, I have not been to Quisha's shop. So, Quisha have all kind of crackheads. She have like them new bionic tra- crackheads. They're not. These motherfuckers come in. One came in the other day and said, do you want to buy this ball of soap? I said, well, nigga, where the rest of the pack of the soap at? Because it's just one ball. <laughs> was it even a wrap? You know how you buy a six pack of dial soap? This nigga took one pack out the ball and asked, I said, what the fuck? You don't even know how to steal, crackhead. Mm-hmm. That and was his, his personal use. <laughs> so, that that, quick, yeah, gross. <laughs> I'm over at Quisha's shop. Oh, the crackhead. We sitting there, and I was like, oh, this crack. She's like, oh, this motherfucker right here look crazy. I said, lock the door, lock the door, hurry up. I locked the door. And then the crackhead walk up to the door, but hitting on the door. Bam, you bitch. And I was like, who the fuck are you talking to? So I run outside with the crackhead. Oh I ran to no, the desk. No, come on. What are you doing? No, I ran, to the de- I ran to the desk, and I just picked my gun up. Hey, was like, <laughs> put that shit down. <laughs> I'll Put like, that shit down. I'll fight him. No, <laughs> she grabbed the mannequin stand. <laughs> Unlock the door. I'm going to beat your Ran body with this body. You ever seen Mortal Kombat, bitch? <laughs> yep. I was like, Pat, no, no. What? She done picked up cones, throwing the mayhem. He was like, fuck you, bitch. I'm crazy. Shit, bitch, I'm crazy, too. <laughs> so them yellow cones outside, I picked up and knocked the shit out of one other. <laughs> now, who crazy, nigga? He said, you and walked out. <laughs> Ran out. You got crazier than a crackhead. You out crazy them as a tactic. He wasn't that wrong with that nigga. He was just playing like he was crazy, beating on that goddamn one. You have to come to Queen's shot because you got bald head hole, alopecia hole, lying motherfucker, scammers. Oh, oh my God! This crackhead walked in. This crackhead walked in yesterday, and uh, (laughs) I almost peed on myself. Who? Who drunk lady. The drunk oh. lady. So we all standing there, and then man just walked in with a hat on. He walked to the crease and said, 
break my goddamn hair and took his head off and he had alope- he, I mean he had a receiving hairline just a ball spot he had two braids in the back and I said are you for real and so he he said you know what uh, I'm got party? up and walked on the other side <laughs> cause being I, nosy and I was thinking I was like how can I help you she was like you being nice to these motherfuckers yeah so the other lady said so it was like a drunk a lady man. like no like, like a like business a owner <laughs> yeah right no it was she a drunk, drunk lady that is always she's always super drunk Pat can't stand her either so and she was that, but no, before she started, the man started cussing quick. Bet I got money. I got money. I'm laughing because man ain't got but two plaques in his head. So the crazy lady said, All right, time to go, nigga. And take out her taser. <laughs> what? <laughs> she took her taser out. And all I heard was skiss, 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 some frying shit. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then like Kush said, said, no pill. She don't. said, don't taser. I said, tase that nigga. She did. She like tase him. She like this recording and shit. Peg got her phone like, no, tase him. She's like a, she's tase like a producer for bum fights. I was like, don't tase him. That lady, she like, she drunk as fuck. She had her lick in one hand and tase in the other. She like, eh, eh. She was about to the fuck she, out of here. Oh my it was God. Just <laughs> so, mind you, calling there like, is this shit real? <laughs> this shit can't be real. There. I was like, the man need never moved. Him. And this bitch is cranking up this tail. <laughs> and I'm like, go on out of the door. I'm about to hit you. I'm about to hit you. I said, oh, Lord, have mercy. This man will come and kill all of us. Does this happen all every the time? Every day. Uh, but, Kweecha, does this happen every day or just like when every she's day. there or what? No, no every day. No, it's, it's something. Every all day. All the time. It's on Hill Street, nigga. Hill the crackhead Street. be out there. They be fighting. It's a new crackhead over there, right? He's a man. He's selling dick, right? He got a nice purse, but he's a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> he white. It's a white man. You, now you gotta understand, it's more. It's the white crackheads. They now. got more white crackheads okay. than anything. Gentrification's at moving in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The gentrification. Even with the bombs. A white black, a white prostitute, male prostitute, walk around there with a nice purse, and he just be francing back and forth. I don't know who gonna buy his pussy because the shop is next to a gas station. I didn't even know they buy pussy and gas at the same time. Oh, he be frolicking up and down. He be sashaying and down there. So, <laughs> just really peacocking it up, huh? Straight on across there. <laughs> oh, we gotta tell you, Quisha's a dean minister now. <laughs> All right, very good. She can marry you I for thirty dollars. Oh, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> the bitch called me and told me she took the ministry test. The crazy part is she ain't never been to church. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a lie. I'm born and raised in the church, but... I bet you don't know the Bible. I bet you I do. Well, what do you say when somebody get married? Oh, I don't know that shit, but I'm going to know. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> you pass the test. You say hairdo. Look, you say hairdo. I'm ordained minister, so y'all need, you need to get married. I got you. And she's, Dion say that. Somebody tried to charge $500. I was like, bitch. Look. Look online. Dion said, uh, <laughs> said when you marry the people, instead of them saying hairdo, they say, you say hairdo and you say hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're, you did this for a friend? Yes. They're getting married? Okay. I did. Yeah. And then she can marry you. All for Legally in um, 46 states. <laughs> what four <laughs> What four states are we out? What about Guam? It don't matter. I know yeah. I can marry your ass in Georgia. They U.S. Virgin Islands. Puerto Rico. Right. I can legally marry your right. ass in Georgia. Why would you want to marry somebody? Why not? Is there anything that you don't do? Sell pussy. <sighs> That's the one thing I'm not going to do. Can't nobody afford me. Uh, how much? How much? How much does Dion need? Like, wh- let's whoa, say he walked up whoa, and said, whoa. "It's like that Demi Moore movie." No, no, no. no. First of all, I got money, so I don't need no more. Right. Quisha's and I relationship would never <laughs> cross that line. Mm-hmm. Secondly, I don't. We pay all for- sell pussy, but all Quisha. I don't sell no pussy. Yeah, if you give it to somebody, you sell. No, I'm them. giving them some pussy. Well, That's they got to give you something. You don't just give broke nigga pussy. No. So some, so you selling. They got to have something in return. He give for me you. good dick. So you selling pussy for good dick. Well, if you want to put it like that, barter. It's yeah, that's a, more more right. barter. If you give them gifts, they're selling pussy. If they give you gift, they buy your purse to fuck you. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Shit! Selling pussy, then y'all. You have to go watch the YouTube video. Oh my god! The it, way you pussy, said it that was shit. the sweetest, most innocent. 
Oh yeah, I did get this necklace. <laughs> well, I told Q you. Finger. You got him. <laughs> we all we 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 used to fuck for riding boots. Now we first fucking for Cuban links. I can't. Uh, we have to end there. Like that was just <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> hey, and that's been an episode of the Pat Down here with Dia and Chris and Quisha in the house, and somebody wants some fucking tickets to see me next weekend. Oh, oh I mean, uh, Carlos and April, you are the winner of the Miss Pat tickets for the uh, Atlanta show. I see you. There. There. Thank you for jo- thank you for watching another episode of the Pat Down. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another episode of the Pat Down. Make sure you check out my website at misspatcomedy.com for all of my social media, my tour dates, my book. Make sure you spread the word about my podcast. Please rate and review. Please rate and review and share. Thank y'all so much, y'all. I've been Miss Pat.